The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus noticed a tax collector, Levi by name, sitting by the customs house, and said to him, "Follow me." and leaving everything he got up and followed him in his honor levi held a great reception in his house and with them at table was a large gathering of tax collectors and others the pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples and said Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, It is not those who are well who need the doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the virtuous, but sinners to repentance. The gospel of the Lord Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel this afternoon speaks well of what we are celebrating today. On this day, first holy communion, and the gospel speaks directly to all, to the seven of you, and also to us who are here. to witness to celebrate this joyous occasion with our children jesus noticed that's how the gospel this afternoon begins with jesus noticed in other words my dear young people the seven of you jesus notices you He knows that you have been waiting for some months for this day to come for you to receive the body and blood of his for you to participate fully in the holy eucharist and you have been waiting in your own little ways um, I was also told that some of the children were asking their parents when will be receiving the body and blood of our lord jesus it is so encouraging to hear our children asking for that and today the lord is giving himself to you for the first time because why jesus noted notices you he knows that you have been waiting for some time he knows that you are eagerly waiting Uh, for this joyous occasion as much as jesus notices levi in his office the same jesus has taken a special look at each one of you and you are here today this afternoon uh, to celebrate this gift that our lord is giving to you totally is flesh and blood at the same time as much as jesus called levi or matthew to follow him the same jesus is calling the seven of you uh, to follow to follow jesus and i'm sure from from the day of your baptism till this very day you have been following jesus in your own simple ways that you may not understand that whatever that you are doing the lessons that you are learning every sunday are in your catechism classes or not classes in your catechism online now classes so uh, that you are growing becoming maturing in your discipleship in your call to follow jesus so you have been following jesus uh, regularly faithfully convincingly 
and Jesus has called you by your name as how he has called Levi and all the others the same Jesus has called you by your name so this is a very important uh, a celebration we're not here by chance we are here for a purpose and the purpose here for us is for you uh, the seven of you uh, becoming a disciples of our Lord you have become but now you're deepening your whole uh, relationship with Jesus so it's good that you have prepared well uh, for this day I remember that when you were a child how your parents brought you for the first sacrament the sacrament of baptism when you were baptized oh your parents brought you you may not able to recall but that's what your parents did for you oh, when they brought you to the church and that on the day of your baptism that you become a special child of God until this very day you are a special child of God and in days to come in months to come in years to come you will always be a special child of God uh, because of the baptism that you received uh, so when you go back home uh, ask your parents the date of your baptism uh, because on that very day uh, you became a beloved child of God a beloved child of God never forget that and that is the first sacrament the seven of you received uh, some years back and today you will be receiving not the second sacrament but you are receiving the third sacrament and the third sacrament is Holy Communion in a short while you're going to receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ now sandwiched between these two baptism and Holy Communion today also you received another sacrament the sacrament of reconciliation uh, we call it confession you made your confession today and all the seven of you you made a very beautiful uh, a confession it touched me actually if it's touched if it's touched me I'm sure it must touch God because you have really examined yourselves uh, you have examined yourselves and you brought it out in the confession telling to God uh, of your struggles of your weaknesses and so on and God would simply say that he loves you no matter what so all together uh, in a short while uh, you will receive three sacraments so it's a good news that's a good news so from this day onwards uh, young ones uh, the seven of you uh, continue to grow continue to have this holy desire uh, to grow with the Lord have this holy desire to come to church uh, have this holy desire to come and receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ you must have the holy desire uh, because you are a special child of God a special child of God so don't forget that uh, you are a beloved child of God and we are all happy uh, the whole community uh, your parents friends relatives parishioners all of us are happy that you are in a short while will be receiving the body and blood soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ my dear brothers and sisters the gospel this afternoon also speaks to us the gospel this afternoon tells us that Jesus notices Jesus take a great kind of interest of all people not just those who are living a righteous life but also those who are not living so righteous life Jesus notices all of us all of us I remember that in God in the gospel this afternoon Jesus noticed the tax collector Levi who was sitting in his office collecting taxes doing his everyday business and here Jesus comes to him and tells Levi hey Levi come follow me follow me and I will make you fishes of men 
and immediately Levi or Matthew dropped everything what he was doing and he followed Jesus. But before Matthew or Levi could follow Jesus, remember that Levi has to get up from where he was. He needs to leave his comfort zone. He needs to leave his a very uh, common environment, a very comfortable environment that he was in. Because being a tax collector, he was quite a wealthy guy, yes? and he has to let go of everything if he wants to follow Jesus. Huh? And the gospel this afternoon tells us that he got up and followed him. He got up and followed Jesus. Now that is a very important uh, gesture that we all need to do. That even before we answer to the call of God, even before we say that I want to serve you, I want to follow you, but we need to get up from where we are. We need to say bye-bye to all that we are used to do, we are comfortable to do. And take on the challenge where Jesus is taking us. And that will be the great challenge for all of us, my dear friends. To leave what we are good at and the talents that we may have, to leave that and to take on to something that is very unusual. Matthew or Levi, he was very good of collecting taxes. Uh, but Somehow, when Jesus took time to notice him and invited him, Jesus would turn him into somebody else. And we all know that Matthew or Levi, eventually he became an evangelist, a gospel writer. And we have this gospel, one of the four gospels, uh, the gospel of Matthew, that he wrote the gospel simply because someone took notice of him. Someone called him. Someone invited him. Someone said, follow me. And that changed the whole life of Matthew. Leaving his tax office and becoming an evangelist. A gospel writer. Becoming an apostle. So this is what happens when Jesus spot us. You know, sometimes... We have our own kind of selective uh, seeing, a selective seeing, or even selective hearing. Uh, we all have that. We, we, we choose and pick whom we want to see and whom we do not want to see, whom we want to hear and whom we do not want to hear. So we all have this a kind of selective seeing and hearing. But Jesus, he doesn't have that actually. And Jesus... And know that what Matthew is doing is not proper. It's not proper. Taking taxes from the poor people for his own benefit, working for the Roman government. That is not proper. But Jesus sees something else in Levi. And he saw that this guy, this Levi, is a potential candidate of writing the good news. And Jesus knew that. And Jesus spotted him. And invited him to follow him. So this gospel text is for all actually. Uh, that wherever we are, whatever situations that we are in, that Jesus always looks at us and he invites us to come, to follow him. No matter whatever situations that we are in. Uh, but to follow Jesus, we need to get up. Because without getting up, we cannot follow the Lord. We cannot answer to the call of God. For Matthew to become an evangelist, for Matthew to become a gospel writer, he has to get up. If he, if he hasn't get up, today you wouldn't have the gospel of Matthew. We would have some other gospel. But because on that particular day, on that particular moment, 
when Jesus called him and he got up and left everything today we have the gospel of Matthew we have the evangelist Matthew the apostle Matthew yes my dear friends the Lord looks at us every one of us the Pharisees were not happy because Jesus mingles with tax collectors and sinners they have a kind of a selective seeing are uh, the Pharisees and the scribes but not Jesus he mixes very well with all sort of people uh, and he invites some of them to follow him and it turns them to be somebody else Jesus notices not just in the case of Matthew even in the case of Zacchaeus Jesus looks up Jesus notices Zacchaeus up on the tree hey Zacchaeus come down I want to dine with you today and Zacchaeus we all know that he was a chief tax collector working for the Roman government a very wealthy man and Jesus goes into the household of Zacchaeus and that made Zacchaeus a new man a changed man a renewed man simply because Jesus took time to notice someone up on the tree that this Zacchaeus can always be the good guy not just Zacchaeus there are so many stories that we have in the Gospels how Jesus looked at each one of them and how he transformed them into somebody else so today's uh, Holy Mass let us look at our lives because as much as Jesus noticed uh, Matthew or Levi the same Jesus notices us he's looking at us and he's inviting us come come follow me and we need to do one thing that is to live whatever that we are doing and to respond to Jesus' invitation not leaving your families not leaving your careers but at times Jesus invites us to do something extraordinary and he knows that you can do it because he believes that you can do it and Jesus gives that invitation to you to come but we must able to let go whatever that has become an hindrance we must able to let go whatever stops us from radical discipleship we must willing to let go even our mind our good idea our good thinking so that we can able to fit in into the mind of Jesus into the mind of Christ so this letting go can be sometimes difficult but that is what discipleship is all about at times we need to let go even whatever that you are thinking has a value thing whatever that you think will benefit others but even then that also needs to let go in order to fit in into the mind of God so today as we pray in this holy mass let us pray for all these seven young ones who are here with us we ask our Lord to bless them we ask our Lord to bless their families we ask our Lord that they may always walk with God walk with our Lord Jesus that they may always treasure what they will be receiving today Jesus' own body and blood that they will treasure this moment this day for what they are about to receive so my dear young ones don't ever forget this day uh, February 20th uh, a very important day for the seven of you uh, that for the first time you will be receiving our Lord Jesus Christ uh, and always have the desire to come for mass with your parents with your family and anticipate to receive our Lord uh, in the Holy Eucharist so let us pray for them let us pray for one another